Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll talk about how to fix noisy windshield wipers in minutes, the easy and DIY way. Windshield wipers serves as a significant purpose, but they can become a huge nuisance if they are continually making noise while in use. Some people deal with the occasional noise from time to time, but if it's a constant thing, something needs to be done. The good news is that there are solutions out there that actually works and it doesn't take too much effort. Some issues might be more troublesome than others, but a little bit of trial and error will usually yield pretty good results. Here's a few maintenance fixes for loud wipers. These are the most straightforward fixes as far as noise is concerned. They should be done even if there is not noise happening because it helps with the longevity of the windshield wipers. People neglect their windshield wipers way too much, myself included, unless there is something wrong with them or they are making too much noise. What people don't realize is that a few seconds of work every once in a while can help a driver be a bit more proactive about everything. The first thing you'll need to do is clean off both wiper blades and the windshield. The number one reason for a squeaky windshield is that it happens to be dirty. Even if rain is falling, there's still going to build up dirt on the windshield that causes noise. Do not assume that rain is going to wash everything off magically without having to put any work. There is no set amount of time for how often people should wash the windshield as it mostly depends on where you are and judging how things look. Some people wash their windshields once a week while others do it more frequently just to stay on top of everything. And obviously some people just never wash it. To wipe the entire windshield, make sure to lift the wiper blades up first. The blades should be clean off first since some of the soap and water will fall off onto the windshield. Once both blades are washed, continue with cleaning the windshield. Most people will find a way to get this done in less than a minute once they get a routine down. In fact, a good way to stay on top of this is to do it while also filling up the car with gas. They don't need to be checked nearly as often, but make sure that everything is in working order with the windshield blades before placing them back down. There could be some buildup on the arm or hinges of the wiper blades. Not only that, there could be some structural damage that causes some noise issue. One good little hack I saw someone do on YouTube is to clean the wiper blades using WD-40. It works really good and I suggest you try and see how well it works in making the squeaks stop altogether. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. I would also appreciate you leaving a comment if you have any soundproofing questions or comments for me to answer. I will provide links to each and every one of these products I talk about in this video in the description below for you to purchase. And now back to the video. Next is check windshield wiper fluid levels. Unless wipers are used during the heavy rainstorm, windshield wiper fluids is essential every time they are turned on. Otherwise, it increases the chances of noise becoming a problem. There is not an unlimited supply of windshield washer fluid in any car. If it's becoming a bit too noisy, it could be the simple fact that wiper fluid is not putting out much or it's just not working at all. For people who uses their windshield wipers a lot, Checking once a month on fluid levels might be the best way to go. It really doesn't have to be checked that much, but in the first place to troubleshoot if there are noise issues, without windshield washer fluid, windshield wipers can become noisy in any situation. Buy windshield wiper fluid in bulk to save a little bit of money. It might seem excessive, but most people will go through more fluid in their lifetime than they thought was possible. The third one is soften the rubber on the wipers. Rubber located on cars can sometimes become hard over time. Having a lot of exposure to the sun, combined with other elements, is usually the culprit. It is frustrating to have to repair the windshield wipers, but it is cheaper than replacing them. The do-it-yourself method of fixing rubber on windshield wipers is to use a bit of rubbing alcohol. Rub it up and down the length of the parts so that everything is covered. Usually doing this one or two times will be sufficient enough to soften the rubber. If it is beyond repair, the only real solution is to replace the windshield wipers. Some people will look for ways to replace just the rubber, but it is usually worth it just to go ahead and upgrade everything at once. Number four is tighten up the windshield wipers. Under constant use, windshield wipers can become beaten up. It might seem like they are pretty durable at times, but anything can go wrong with the mechanism that causes some noise. Perhaps the one thing that goes out faster than normal is the fasteners. 
they are usually either too loose or too tight. In both scenarios, it can lead to some sound that people don't want to deal with. One solution is to fasten them correctly so that the noise goes away. Another way to fix things is to put a little bit of fluid on the fasteners to reduce the amount of friction. Here are a little bit more complicated fixes to get quiet wipers. These next few solutions are a little bit more complicated but should be possible for those trying to troubleshoot everything on their own. Remember, it is worth it to car manufacturers to make fixing and even replacing windshield wipers to be as easy as possible. No one wants to have to go through a complicated process every single time. The good news is they don't have to. Number five is examining windshield protectants. If a person invests in a windshield protectant like Rain-X, they might feel like they have done the right thing by protecting that important part of the vehicle. However, some of them actually lead to noisy windshields if they are causing just the right amount of friction when the wipers are running across. Protectants are not meant to cause this, but sometimes a combination just does not work. Maybe the protectant needs another fresh coat, or it needs to be removed to avoid squeaky wiper blades. Some people swear by these protectants, but if it comes at a noisy price, it can be very frustrating. And of course, number six is fully replacing the wiper blades. Although it is recommended to switch out wiper blades every six to 12 months, very few people abide by those rules. Instead, they tend to stick with replacing wiper blades when they actually need to. As long as they work and don't make noise, they stay on. While some people might be lucky enough to get away with that method of thinking, it could be a big reason why there are a lot of noise going on. If they are old and starting to wear out, they are going to cause a different amount of friction that can be pretty loud. When buying a new set of wiper blades, look for options that are labeled as quiet. These are usually some pretty solid wiper blades made of material that reduces the chance of a lot of friction. Make sure to try other options before making the investments of getting a new set of windshield wipers. They are a bit more expensive, but they are quieter. This is where wipers built for specific locations make sense as well. If a person lives in an area with a ton of heavy rainstorms, they make wipers for that. The same goes for very cold location and very dry locations, so stay on top of that as well. And here I'm going to answer a few questions that some of the readers have sent me. The first question is, can noisy windshield wiper blades actually be caused by more severe problems? Well, more often than not, using a cleaning solution or a simple blade replacement takes care of the noise issue. However, two more significant things could be causing the problem. Not only does it cost a decent amount of money to repair, but if it's left untreated, it can become more dangerous. The first issue is the entire wiper blade assembly. This usually happens after years and years of regular use, wearing down in time and becoming an issue. Another issue that pops up is that a person could be dealing with some type of actual windshield problem. The surface itself could be very rough after dealing with a lot of harsh weather conditions. There could also be a crack in the windshield that is not noticeable at first, but upon further inspection, it's there. Fixing a windshield is obviously a bit more expensive than fixing windshield wipers, but the alternative is being at risk in case the entire windshield shatters. That's why it's always important to take care of that sooner rather than later. And of course, another issue could be that your windshield wiper motor is toast. That's another thing that will cost a little bit of money, but it's a necessity, so might as well change it. Another question is, is it challenging to replace windshield wipers without professional assistance? While most people will be able to replace windshield wipers on their own, even if it is their first time doing so. They've made it so a person doesn't even need tools to replace some wipers. All you need to do is purchase the right size so they fit and work properly. New blades will actually latch in place once they are taken out of the package and they snap back off for easy replacement. Windshield wipers that work properly should be efficient at cleaning the windshield and work under all conditions. Make sure that they are operating well at any speed. Some windshield wipers will make a lot of noise at certain speeds and then be quiet at other speeds. As long as regular maintenance is held up, they should be able to operate just fine. Usually a sound means something is wrong, so don't completely ignore it. Sometimes it will be caused by the conditions, but that is not always going to be the case. It's better to be proactive about replacing windshield wipers when you need to, 
versus letting them wear out too much. Finally, for those people who live in a climate that is particularly rainy, particularly snowy or more, get windshield wipers that are good for that type of weather. They're going to be built to last a little bit longer and that way a person is not replacing things quite as much. Take a look in the description below for my recommendations on the quietest windshield wiper blades on Amazon. Feel free to take a look at many of our other YouTube videos and also some of our articles on our website soundproofguide.com. Don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video and also consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content. Also feel free to leave us a comment below if you have any soundproofing questions of your own. We will certainly try our very best to help you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video or any other videos in our channel. Thank you very much.